everybody it's Sandy and we're here with another tutorial and this is a long-awaited tutorial everybody's been on me to get it finished and I'm gonna do it <laughs> don't mind my band-aid <laughs> cooking accident <laughs> from when I did my cooking tutorial I cut my finger <laughs> so <laughs> um, so anyways okay so the supplies that you're going to need are, well, this is what I'm using anyway. It's the Bernat Premium, and this colorway is, where's the colorway? It's Taupe Heather, okay. Um, it's 100% acrylic. It, there's uh, 198 grams in this ball, and... I think that's all you need to know about it. <laughs> um, it's a really pretty mocha brown color. I just love it. Uh, you can use any four weight yarn though. Okay, and then I am going to be using the Karen Latte Cake. And isn't that gorgeous? Oh, Karen Latte Cake. It is coconut cream and it's 58% acrylic and 42% nylon and it there is 250 grams in this this uh, cake so the two of these together are beautiful beautiful and I've got one side of the cardigan done already here I'll bring you out bit. So I wanted to show you what it looks like together. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and you can see the latte fuzziness. Oh, I can't wait to finish it. <clears throat> okay, so I am using a, what am I using? I'm using a five millimeter hook. I'm using my furls hook. Oops, I'll bring you in a little bit here. Using my five millimeter. And so let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a magic circle. You don't have to do a magic circle if you don't want to. You can just do the chain up four uh, and then um, slip stitch to make your slip stitch in the first one to make your circle but if you want to do magic circle this is how I do it wrap it around your finger twice oh that band-aid looks terrible <laughs> and you put your um, crochet hook underneath both and you pull that one through and then you take your working yarn, go underneath that, oops, and you pull through there. And then you can pull through again if you want to. There we go. And you pull it off, and there you go. There's your magic circle. Ta-da! Alrighty. I'm gonna bring in a little, oops, a little bit more again. I just set up my camera differently, so I'm trying to get used to it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do clusters of three double crochet. We're going to do six of them. So, because you got to make your hexagon. Okay. So this one counts as your first double crochet. So you're going to do go into the circle and do one more double crochet. Go into your circle again. Oh, geez, I'm not even in frame. Look at that. And do another double crochet. Okay, so now you've got your three double crochet. Now you're going to chain one. Oh, sorry, you're going to chain two. And you're going to go back in and do another cluster of three double crochet. One. 
This is the hardest part, just doing the double crochets in this circle. The rest of it is pretty easy. Okay, there's your other three. Now you're going to chain two. Gonna go back in that circle again. Do three more double crochet. One. Two. Three. Now you've got three clusters. One, two, three. Now you're going to do three more of these clusters. Chain two. One. Two. Three. Okay. Chain two. In. One, two, three, whoops, <laughs> three. Okay, now you've got one way out here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to pull this over a little bit. We're going to do one more cluster. So we're going to chain two. One, two, three, chain two. Now you're going to slip stitch into that first double crochet to the top of the first double crochet. Right there. There you go. You are finished your first part. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your tail and pull. And there you go. You've got your six points. Okay? Okay. Don't worry if the, if the middle opens up a little bit while you're working. You can always pull it again and then just weave in your end. Okay, now what you're going to do is there's your first three double crochet clusters. You're going to slip stitch. Hang on. You're going to slip stitch into this double crochet right here. Okay, hang on, let me put this down here. Okay, there's your first double crochet right here. Here's your second double crochet and your third double crochet. You're going to slip stitch right into there and then you're going to slip stitch into this chain two space. Okay, I know this yarn is dark and you can't really see it very good. So you're going to slip stitch into here. You want to get back into that chain two space. Okay, you're always going to be working in, in a chain two space. Okay, then you're going to go into the chain two space and you're going to slip stitch into there. There. Now you're in, in the chain two space. Okay. You're going to chain up two. Okay. Now, this is where you're going to start working. Okay. And you're going to start doing this over again. This one counts as your first double crochet. You're going to go in and you're going to do two more double crochets to make your cluster. Okay, there's your first cluster. Now what we're doing is we're making corners. Okay, so you're going to chain two. That'll be the point of your corner. And you're going to go back in 
and you're going to do three more double crochets in that space. Okay, there, you've done your first corner. How about that? Okay, now you're going to go into your next corner. You're going to chain one. Okay, you're going to go into this chain space. You're going to skip all these. Go right into the chain space. You're going to do three double crochets. your first cluster, chain two, go back in and do three double crochets. Okay, there's your next corner. There's your first corner and your next corner. Okay, and we're going to go back and go into this next space, this chain two space. So we're going to chain one and go right into that chain space right there. And do three double crochet. There's your first cluster, chain two, go back into that space and do three more double crochet. And there you go. You got your three corners now. Got three more to go. Okay. Chain, oops, chain one. Go back, go into that next chain two space. And do three double crochet. Two, three, okay, chain two, do three more double crochet in that space. You're going to find with this pattern that it's pretty repetitive um, and it goes really quickly once you get going. Okay, another corner. Chain one. Go into that next space. We've got two more to do. Go into that next chain space. Do three double crochet. Whoop. Oops. <laughs> did one too many. <laughs> oh, the heck? Oh, I did two too many. <laughs> I forgot to do my chain two. Okay, let's try that again. You've got three, <laughs> your three double crochets. Chain two. Go back in and do your three double crochet. There we go. And there, chain one. Okay, we've got one more right there. So you do your three double crochet. <clears throat> okay, 
button, chain two, go back in, do your three double crochet. going to slip stitch into that top of that first double crochet that you did. Right there. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to pull you out here. Whoops, pull you out a little bit here. This is what you should have so far. Three points up here, three points down here. Okay, if it buckles, that's good. Okay, now if you take two corners opposite to each other and fold it, this is what you're going to have. And this right there is what goes under your armpit. Okay, one side your arm, the other side is going to be the body and this is how you begin okay now de depending on how many rows you do is it will tell you what kind of size sweater you can have so you can go right from a newborn all the way up to infinity right um, just depending on how many how many rows of this you do so there's no brain work to it really. You just need to know what size you want and measure it out and keep going until you get to that size. Okay, for round three, you're gonna do the same kind of start that you did um, for the last row and you're gonna do this for every row. Okay, you're going to slip stitch into this stitch right here, right here, and then you're going to slip stitch into your chain space, okay? Now remember, that's how you're going to start every row, okay? So you're going to go in, slip stitch into here, and go into your chain space, and slip stitch into there. Okay, now you're in the corner and now you're going to start again. You're going to do exactly the same thing you did on the last row. You're going to chain up three. You're going to put um, three double crochet cluster, chain two, two do a three double crochet cluster. Okay, so there's your three double crochets chain two, go back into that chain space and do three more double crochets. Okay, now you have your corner. Okay, now this is the part, the only part that's different. Okay, now you have a space in between your clusters or between in between your corners right so go corner corner and then there's a space in here you're going to work into this space remember we're jumping over top of all of this and we're going to do a chain one you're always going to chain one in between your spaces you're going to go into that next space and do three double crochet. Okay. Now you're not putting any more in that space. You're just doing three double crochets. Okay. Chain one. Okay, now you're going into the corner. So now you got to do your three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in here. Okay. One, 
two, three, chain two, go back in, three, where one, <laughs> two, three. Okay, now you've made your corner. And that's what it's going to look like. This is typical of a granny square. Right. Okay, we're going to do that six times. Six times? One, three, four, five times. <laughs> okay, chain one. Oops, chain one. Okay, now we're going to do it again. There's your space, there's your corner, and there's your corner. Okay? So we're going to do three double crochets in that space. One, two, three. Okay? Chain one. Now we're going back into that corner. We're going to make another corner. Three double crochet. Chain two. Three double crochet. One side, two sides, and you're going to go on to your next side. Okay, you're going to do the same thing. Three double crochet, or chain, um, chain one, do three double crochet, chain one, and then go into your, your corner. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. You're going to do this all the way around until here. Okay, this will be your last one. When you get there, come on back and I'll show you what to do next. Now you're finished your first set of three rows. Okay, you out a little bit here. There you go. And it's going to buckle like this, and that's good. That's what you want. Because if you take the two corners opposite side, fold it over, there you go. Okay? All right. So now we're going to change colors. You don't have to. If you're just doing a solid color, Just we're just going to keep on going and keep on going. Okay, but I'm going to be changing colors, so I'm bringing over my latte cake now. But before I do that, we need to, oops, pull you back in again. We need to get into that corner again, right? So you're going to go slip stitch into this stitch here and slip stitch into this stitch here. Okay, now we can change colors. Okay, so you just pull your other one, pull um, your, oh, what am I trying to say? Words, Sandy. <laughs> pull your new yarn through Tighten your old yarn, and now we're going to cut the old yarn. Come on, cut scissors. Now what I like to do just to anchor it, is you take the end of your new yarn, 
the the not your working part but your end you take your old yarn and you just tie a knot and just do a double knot there. now you know your yarn isn't going anywhere okay you take your two ends and you hold your two ends alongside your work because you're going to work over top of it. Okay? Now you're going to chain up two and now you're going to start again. So you're going to go into your corner and, and do your corner. So you're going to do your double crochet do your two double crochet. So remember that first one counts, so you only have to do two to start. Chain two and do three more double crochet. Ooh, <laughs> I just went to uh, pull my yarn and I got yarn barf <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> That's the thing with um, this latte. If you're pulling it from the middle, sometimes it will just barf all over the place. So you have to kind of just finagle it a little. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oop, wrong way. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, we did our first corner. Okay. Yep. So now... You're going to chain one. Uh, um, oh, we already did. No. Did we already chain? No, we didn't. Okay, chain one. <coughs> okay, now we're going to go. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, now you're going to find that you've got two in between your corners. As you get bigger and bigger and bigger, you're going to keep adding an extra one of these, right? So on the next row you'll have three, on the next row you'll have four, and it'll just keep going. Okay, so you're going to do exactly like you did on the last one. You're going to do um, three double crochets into here, three double crochets into here, and then do your corner. Okay? Okay. So you do your chain one, and you're going to go into that space and do your next set of three double crochets. Okay. And then chain one, and you go into this next chain space and do three double crochets. Chain one. Now you're going to go into your corner. Do your three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. It's a little difficult to see this because it is a latte, but there's your corner, there's your corner, there's your two 
um, two clusters of three. Okay, and that's all you're going to do. You're just going to keep going around and around. Okay. Chain one. You're going to go into that next cluster, or that next chain space, I mean, and do your cluster. Chain, or three double crochet. Okay, chain one. Make sure you always have a chain one in between your clusters, before and after. Here's your next set of three. Okay, chain one. Now go into your corner, do your corner. Three double crochet. Chain two. Oops, I only did two. Sometimes I get going so quickly that I totally forget to do all three. <laughs> so be mindful of that because once you get going and you're going, oh, I get it, um, you'll end up going back around to the next next uh, row and you'll go, oh, I only did two in the chain, or <clears throat> two in the, yeah, in the chain instead of three. So and then you'll have to frog it. And believe me, latte is not easy to frog. <laughs> so, okay, uh, there's my three. Okay, so there's your next set. Got one set, two sets. Okay, so now you're just going to go and do your next set there. Do your um, your chain one, three double crochet chain one, three double crochet, chain one, do your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Okay? And then you'll go on to your next one and your next one. And you just keep going around. Okay? So I'll meet you at the next row. So you're going to do your chain one in between and you're going to slip stitch into that top or that that first double crochet to finish your row. Okay. Now bring you out a little bit. Okay, so this is what you should have. Okay, take your two corners opposite to each other and fold them over. And there you go. Okay, your arm, the body. Okay, so now this is what you're going to continue to do all, you know, all throughout the sweater. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to do three rows of your brown um, your of your premier and three rows of your latte. Okay, so if I bring in my, my other one here, okay. Oops, this is my sleeve here. Okay. So you, this is what we're working on right now, okay? So you do three rows of the brown, three rows of the latte, three rows of the brown, three rows of the latte. And you just keep on going. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So you're going to do twenty-one rows all together. Okay, now I have both sides of my sweater finished, and it's the sweater is really big, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you 
um, the whole thing. So here is the body and here is the sleeve. Okay. And it doesn't matter which way you put it. This could be the sleeve and this could be the body. So <clears throat> just choose which side you want. Okay. Now what I do is I go and I find all the little holes on here and I put a stitch marker in every second hole just so that everything stays in place. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is get your do that on both. Okay. And then you're going to want to put your two sides together. Okay, you're going to flip open these two sides. You're going to put these sides together and you're going to do the exact same thing. Put a stitch marker in every second one just to hold it all together. Okay, now you have all of your stitch markers going down the back. And I just wanted to show this to you. When you get down to the bottom, the stitch that you're going to put it in is in that corner stitch where you made your corner. So you're going to put it right in there. Okay. And then your whole sweater is hanging together. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to seam sew up this side of the, the arms and the back. You can use any um, form of doing that as you want, whichever makes you feel comfortable. I do it in a different way uh, than just doing a whip stitch or whatever. So I've showed that in a couple of my other videos, but I'm going to show you again. And uh, if you'd like to do it that way, great. If you don't, that's okay too. Just do what makes you feel comfortable. So let's get started on your sleeve. Okay, and we're going to start at the, the end and work our way through to the back. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so you're going to take out that stitch marker that you had in the corner. And you're going to put your slip knot there. Okay, now you're going to put your hook in that corner. See, you've got your corner here, right into that corner uh, chain space. And there's your other corner on your other side. You're going to put it right in there. Okay, now hook your <coughs> yarn on, and you're going to pull it through. Okay, then you're going to yarn over and slip stitch. Okay, now, it, now it's on there. It's all together. Okay, now you're going to take your other, your next marker out of there. Put that one aside. Okay, now you're going to separate these two pieces a little bit, just so you have some room. Okay. I'm going to put my yarn on the other side here. Okay. So now, now you're going to go on this on this side that's closest to you. And you're going to put the same as you did with all the others. You're going to put three double crochets into this um, into this chain space. Okay. One, two, oops, let's try that again, <coughs> excuse me, oh my goodness, <laughs> really, you're going to be that way. Holy. Okay, let's try this again. And three. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's going to be your first 
um, cluster. Okay, so here's where you connected it. Here is your three that you just did. Now straight across from that, where you, you know, where you had your stitch marker to hold them together, that's the one that you're going to be working into. Okay, straight across. What you're going to do is you're going to keep your yarn on this side closest to you. You're going to put your hook down into that hole. Put your yarn around and pull it up and then slip stitch. Okay, and what that's done is it's matched up your sets of three, uh, cl like clusters, your cluster of three. So it's matched it up so it's, it's seamless pretty much. Okay, now you're going to go on this side again. You're going to go into your next uh, chain space. You're going to do your three double crochet into that chain space. Now you're going to go on to the opposite side. Okay, there's that hole that matches up. Okay. And you're going to pull your yarn towards you. Put your hook down into that chain space. Grab your working yarn, pull it up. And slip stitch. Okay, so there you go. So you're basically what you're doing is you're matching up the clusters. Okay, so now you're going to take out your next um, whoops, stitch marker. Okay. Okay, there's the three you just did. You're going to go into the next chain space. You're going to do your three double crochet. I know this looks really confusing, guys, but once you get the hang of it, um, you'll, you'll really love this stitch. And it's really difficult because I'm using brown yarn Oops, but what I'm going to do, this is the same stitch that Krista from The Secret Yarnery does on her Mile a Minute to connect her Mile a Minute pieces for her Mile a Minute blanket. So I'm going to put a link down below to her um, video as well. Okay, so there's your three. You're going to go right across. Okay, here's your three. Right across. On the other on the back side is your hole. Put your yarn towards you. Go down into that hole. Come up. Grab your working yarn. Pull it back in and slip stitch. Okay. Pull you out just a little bit there. Okay, take out your next stitch marker. Okay, now you're going to go to your front piece, go to your next chain space, and do your three double crochet in that chain space. Now you're going <clears> to <throat> go 
row to the back piece. You've already worked into that one. So lay it flat. You can see it matches up there. This one's your next one. Keep your yarn on. <coughs> excuse me. Keep your yarn close to you. Go down into the hole. Go up. Grab your working yarn. Pull it up and slip stitch. Okay, so there you go. Okay, you're going to do this all the way across. Okay, here's your next one. You just finished doing that one. Here's your next one. Do your three double crochet. worked in that one. So here's your next one. Okay, I'm going to pull your yarn on this side, go down into that hole, grab your yarn, pull it up, and slip stitch. Okay, and just keep on going until you get to the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of my rope. I've just done, there, see there's my corner, I've just done my set of three in the, in the um, chain space before that. So I'm going to go across again, go into the hole, grab my working yarn, whoops, grab my working yarn, pull it through, and slip stitch. Now, <clears throat> you have a choice here. You can either fasten it off here if you want a wider collar, or you can just go in here into your corners like that and just grab your yarn. Whoops, I've got my yarn on the wrong side here. Let's try that again. <laughs> Go into your corner, go into your corner in the back, and pull your yarn through. And I, instead of slip stitching, oops, get this piece out of here, I just go and grab my yarn and pull it through like that. And then you pull through again and you bind off. But I, I'm going to do it so that I have a little bit of a wider collar on here. So I'm just going to leave it at that and finish off by doing a slip stitch and cutting off my yarn. There we go. So you're just going to leave that piece open and then when you go around to do your collar you'll have a little bit of a wider uh, wider collar. So now you're going to do that on the other side. Oops, pull it out. There we go. Now you're going to do your, your other sleeve the same way. Start at the outer edge and go through till you get to the corner. Okay, and then you're going to do the back the same way. Except you're going to start. Oops. You're going to start from the bottom and work your way all the way up to the top. Okay. All right, so you go ahead and do that, and then when you're finished that, try it on. 
figure out where the sleeves are on your arm and figure out where like if you want to have your sleeve a bit longer or if you want it to be exactly where it is because don't forget we're going to be putting a cuff on this okay we're going to be taking this sleeve and we're going to make it smaller and then we're going to put a cuff on it okay so make sure that you leave enough room on your arm for the size of cuff you want whether you want a smaller cuff or a longer cuff okay okay so when you've done that and you're ready to do the cuff I will meet you back here now if you've tried it on and you decide that you want it longer that's easy enough to do you take your bottom okay here's your bottom corner put a couple of um, stitch markers in these corners so that you know to stop okay and all you're gonna do along the bottom from the one corner all the way down to your next corner is the same stitch okay so you've got your three solid colors now you'd go back to using your latte and you do your three latte and you're just going back and forth and back and forth okay you're not going up and around your collar area you're just going back and forth and you're doing your three rows of your solid three rows of your latte three rows of your solid oh Bailey no um, and then you just keep going okay so I finished my sleeve to where I want it before the cuff so you're going to attach your new yarn onto um, when you've slip stitched you're going to attach your new yarn you're going to chain up two and now what we're going to do is um, decreases okay so you're going to go back into the stitch that you just did I like to go over top of my strands here so you're going to hold those in your hand you're going to go back into the stitch that this stitch is in you're going to pull up a loop you're going to yarn over pull through two okay now you've got two loops on your hook okay Disconnected. now you're going to go into your next stitch which is right there beside it you're going to yarn over oh no sorry you're not going to yarn over <laughs> You're going to go into your next stitch, pull up a loop, now you've got three on your, on your hook. You're going to yarn over, you're going to pull through two. Okay? Now you're going to go into the chain space that you've got. You're going to yarn over, go through the chain space, pull up two. You've got three, three loops on yarn over pull through two go into your next space or your next stitch you're gonna go in pull your yarn up now you've got three on your hook you're gonna pull through all three okay you're gonna go into your next stitch you're gonna pull up a loop now you got three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then you're gonna whoops, you're gonna go through into your chain space, put your hook through, pull up a loop, now you've got three, and you're gonna pull through two, and you're gonna keep doing this. Go into your next stitch. Oop. try and get those scragglers in there pull up a loop you've got three on your hook pull through two Oop. 
not yarn, don't yarn over. <laughs> Habit. <laughs> okay, go into your next stitch. Pull up a loop. You've got three on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through two. Go into your chain space. Pull up a loop. Now you've got three on your hook. You gotta pull through all three. Okay? You're gonna keep going. Go into your next stitch. Or you're gonna yarn over, go into your next stitch, pull up a loop, go through two, go into your next stitch, pull up a loop. Now you've got three, pull through all three. Go into your space, yarn over, go into the space, pull through two, go into the space, pull up, you've got three, pull through all three. You're going to keep doing this all the way around. Oops. <laughs> okay. You're going to go all the way around your sleeve. Okay. Oop. Yarn over. Go on your next stitch. Pull up. Yarn over. Pull through two. Go into your chain space. Pull up a loop. Now you've got three. Pull through all three. Okay. And then you're going to just keep going. And this will cinch up your um, your sleeve. Okay. Oh, got so much sweater here. Oh. <laughs> through two, go through, pull up yarn. Okay. Okay, so you're going to go all the way around and then I will meet you at the end when you're finished. Okay, so I've gone all the way around and I'm ready to go into my last, um, the very first stitch, the top of the stitch, and slip stitch. Okay, now you're going to chain up two. Okay, now all you're going to do is a half double crochet in each stitch around. Okay. Oops, did I just do a double crochet? <laughs> Half double crochet all the way around. Yarn over, go in your stitch, you've got three, pull through all three. Go through your stitch, pull through all three. Pull through all three. Okay, so you're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. And this is really going to cinch up your sleeve and get you ready for the cuff. Okay, so now you're done that part. Now all you're going to do is slip stitch into your first half double crochet right here and chain up three. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a front post and a back post. Okay, so here I'll bring in a little bit. Okay, here's your half double crochet. You're going to yarn over. You're going to go in underneath that stitch. 
Okay, yarn over, pull through. You've got three on your hook, and a yarn over, and do your double crochet. Okay, you're going to yarn over, and this next half double crochet, you're going to go in behind and put the hook up and over that stitch. Okay, so you go in behind, go up through this stitch, and down through to the next stitch. Yarn over, pull your yarn through, and do your double crochet. Okay, got your next stitch, gonna go up, down, and underneath. Okay, and do your double crochet. You're gonna go yarn over, go in behind, put your hook up, and down. Pull your yarn through, and do your double crochet. Okay, <clears throat> so you're just going to keep going and doing that all the way around. And then you're going to slip stitch at the end. And then you're going to keep doing those row, the rows of half or of uh, front post, back post, and you keep going until you get the length of the cuff that you want. Okay, so I've done just like f say five or six um, rows of the cuff just to show you what it would look like if the cuff was smaller. Okay. So you'd make your sleeve longer and your cuff shorter. Okay, so that's what it would look like if you had a shorter cuff and a longer sleeve. Now I like to do a shorter sleeve and a longer cuff. So this is an example of what it would look like if you did that. So there you go. Okay, so that's, that's the kind of sleeve I like doing, but it gives you an idea of the difference between the two, right? Okay, okay, so now we're going to move on to the collar. Okay, so we are finished our cuffs, both of our cuffs we should be, and uh, now we are going to move on to the collar. By this time you should have tried on your sweater to make sure that it's um, fitting you right. If in case, okay, let's say like you're like me and you have a big bust and you're finding that the sweater isn't covering quite like, see here's your armpit, <clears throat> oops, here's your sleeve. Um, say this part's not wide enough for you, that's an easy fix, okay? All you're gonna do is you're going to start at your top and you're going to continue this stitch all the way down to the bottom of the sweater and then turn around and go back up again and continue to do that until it fits um, halfway like on the half one half of your chest and you're going to flip it over and you're going to do the same thing on the other side go from the neck down and then back up again and do the same amount of um, rows on both sides 
so that it makes this part a bit wider and then um, try it on again and make sure that it's where where you want it to be so that's all you have to do is just go back and forth up and down on both sides and it will make this wider okay and then you start on your collar okay so I am going to go to the bottom of the sweater and I'm going to pick it you can pick either side it doesn't really matter and we are going to continue on and basically all you're going to be doing is you can do half double crochets or double crochets um, and you're just basically going to go up and around around here and down the other side and then go back up and around and you can make your collar as wide as you want okay so I'm gonna bring you in a little bit we're gonna grab one side oops one side here okay where are you Oop. there we go okay so you're gonna go into your corner stitch right here Okay, you're, now you're working on the inside of the sweater, not the outside. Okay, you're working on the inside of the sweater so that you can fold it over. Okay, so you're going to put your crochet hook through there. You're going to attach your yarn and anchor it. Okay, now bring you in a little bit more. Okay, so now you're going to chain up two because that will make three, oops, make three double crochets. Maybe you're in a little too much. There we go. Okay, and all you're going to do is you're going to go into each stitch, including the chain space there. Okay, so you're just going to go, whoop, you're just going to go into your next stitch and do whether you're doing the half double or the double or whatever, I'm going to do doubles. Okay. Do your double crochet. Go into your next stitch. Do your double crochet. Then go into your chain space. Do your double crochet. Then you just keep on going. And don't forget to do your, your chain spaces. And you can do this in any color you want. I like to match it to my uh, my cuffs. So, and that's all you're doing. And like I said, you can do as many rows as you want. After every couple of rows, just try it on, see how the collar fits, you know, and uh, see if you want it wider or or not and that's all you're doing now you can put any kind of collar on this that you want but this is just the easiest for me and that's all you're doing if you can actually get the stitch in there hello <laughs> okay so you're going to continue doing that for the whole, oops, the whole length of your collar. Okay. Okay, so you're just going all the way up. 
going around your collar and all the way down and then go all the way back and just keep going in that U shape until you're done. Okay? Okay, everyone, I am finished. And hopefully you are finished too. What I did was I did um, double crochets and then every second row I did uh, double crochets in the back loop to give these ridges. And then I did a row of crab stitch. I'll just bring you in. I did a row of crab stitch that goes all the way around. And it gives this really nice um, effect. So, yeah, so there you go. I did that all the way around, all the way down. Okay. So there you have it. It's finished, guys. It's all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, this tutorial. Um, I absolutely adore making cardigans and this is the first uh, cardigan that I've actually made with the squared off collar. So it's not bad. I, I like it. Different. So um, anyways, uh, if you have any questions, you can email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com and um, yeah and if you had you can also leave a comment down below of this video as well and uh, let me know what you think of the tutorial and also I want to see a picture of what you've made so go on over to Crochet A uh, Canada's Facebook page and post your pictures because I would love to see what you've come up with okay so thanks for joining me guys and uh, come on back and join me for the next one okay <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later bye, bye.